Hey everybody, it is Saturday, and uh, I didn't go anywhere yesterday, Friday. I did get my upper in the mail for Ballistic Advantage, but uh, I didn't go anywhere for ammo yesterday. By the time I got out of work, my wife wanted to go to the Cheesecake Factory, and I uh, just didn't go. But today I gotta go to Costco, run a couple of errands, so we're gonna go to Bass Pro, because Bass Pro is right next to Costco. Uh, not really like looking for a ton of things. Uh, I am looking for primers because uh, as I've mentioned numerous times, I'm going to start reloading in 2022. So we're always gonna be on the lookout for primers. Got a big uh, going to the range tomorrow. So uh, always, always looking for nine, but uh, not gonna pay, I'm not gonna overpay for nine. So hey, let's head to Bass Pro. And let's go see what they got. Most of the same stuff, but I've got some 100 round packs for 115 or 115 grain for 33. Other than that, 40, 45, and 9. That's it over here. Still got 30, 30. 338 Lapua. It's 223. They moved over from over there. And 4570. 4299. Bushmaster, 300 blackout, 115 grain for 28 bucks, no thanks. And then uh, over here, it's all the same stuff, overpriced. 100 bucks for a 150 pack, 105 for the green tips, and all this stuff, it's the same, same price. Looks like they finally got some primers back, small pistol primers, large rifle mag, and then BR4 primers, 13 cents a piece. 300 blackout, 450 Bushmaster, that's been here for a while. So is that Bushmaster, so has that Bushmaster. We got some 40 grain 223, 338 Lapua, one box. We got Legend and Savage, it's been here for a while. 3030 for $21. 30 out 6 for $26. 762 by 51. You get some Expedition Long Range 6.5 Creedmoor for $50. It's two and a half dollars a box. 4570. 6 millimeter Creedmoor at 6.8 Western. That's been here a while. We got 6.5 Grendel. 300 Blackout. And then 6.8 SPC. The table that's usually full, pretty empty. 22, 350, 222, 762x51, and some 308. Nothing special. Back at the house, recap time. I'm gonna try not to ramble on too much, but here we go. This, uh, this past couple of weeks, I really haven't been going hunting much. I've uh, definitely, you know, I was going almost every day a couple of months ago. Now it definitely scaled back. The holiday season, you know, Christmas is in two days and we've been ordering stuff. I've been ordering stuff. Um, I've had the Patriot games. So I just haven't had the time to go as much as I did. Um, there's still some great deals online. So I just haven't been going to the stores as much. Um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago or last week's video that I ordered an upper. So I put it on a lower so that I could display it because I can display a rifle in this uh, on this channel. And uh, the complete upper, I don't normally buy uppers, but it was a screaming deal from Ballistic Advantage. Uh, complete upper, 13.9 inch barrel, 12 inch handguard, gas system all done, upper, and uh, the bolt carrier wasn't included in the upper, but the upper was 30% off. And then I get another 10% off for being a advanced practice registered nurse. So um, that was $500. So when I spend money like that, I don't typically go nutso on the ammo. That kind of ruined. But um, I did go to the range last Sunday. I shot like 400 rounds of nine. So I did pick up a little bit of Herders nine because as I mentioned, this is the best deal in town where I can go into a store and buy. And my local shop, they had a flash sale today and they sold Federal 9, 115 grain. And it's normally like $28, $29 for a box of 50 and they had a flash sale for $19.99. To me, that's not a deal when I can go and get this. 
So they said they sent out another email at like a, almost 11 o'clock saying that they sold out all the federal nine, but let somebody else buy it. I'm not going to. But I made it no secret. It's not a secret, but I'm going to start reloading. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while. People have mentioned to me in the comments that, you know, save your brass, start reloading. It's much cheaper. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to, I don't really know a ton about it. I know very little about it. So I do know the components, you know, you need your primer, your cases, your powder, your projectile, and then you need all the equipment. The equipment is something that I really haven't dabbled into. So that's something I'm going to have to research a lot. If you got any tips and tricks, let me know down below where to start, any links or whatever. But I did get some primers. Uh, I've been mentioning that I've been looking for primers at Bass Pro, and I got some CCI BR4. These are small rifle primers, and they're supposed to be made with a uh, higher quality. Ooh, it got dark. Higher quality, and not as many light strikes and stuff like that. So I got a thousand primers. You can only get five boxes at a time, so I got a thousand. I got it over two trips, and I got some primers instead of more boxes of nine. So maybe I'm a reloader now. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. But uh, small rifle primers, large rifle primers. I don't think I need large rifle primers. I'm going to get small pistol primers when I see those. I haven't seen powder in a while, so those are the things that I'm going to be looking for, so that I don't have to pay hazmat fees shipping, um, shipping them and whatnot. So, and Bass Pro has a ton of projectiles on the shelves there. They've had those for a really long time. But primers, powders, and cases are what uh, we're really looking for. So, um, I mean, that's going to do it. What did I see this week? I saw 3030. I went to the I went to the Sportsman Wholesale today, and they had 410. They had 38 special, uh, both self defense rounds. You know, at my local shop, they've got 303 British. They've got, you know, all those weird rounds, Win Mag, 50 BMG, 4570 Government. 3030 was on the shelves at Bass Pro along with 4570. And I think they had 6.8 Grendel and 6, 6.8 SPC, I think, was the other one. But some of those uh, oddball characters or calibers are, are back. So... That's going to do it for this one. I tried not to ramble on for too long, but uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. 2021 is almost over with. This is going to be the second to last ammo video of 2021. Hard to believe I've been doing this for like nine months now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a recap video of the whole year next week. And I hope to, hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next video.